people in Kiefer will vote next week on a $29 million school bond issue. The district plans to replace a bond that's expiring. News on 6's Jordan Tidwell tells us how the district plans to spend the money if it's passed by voters. The superintendent says they need this bond issue to pass so they can make sure that the school can keep up with the growth of the city. Kiefer Public School Superintendent Randy Shaw says the school district is growing fast. If this doesn't pass, uh, we're going to be in a situation where we're not going to have enough classrooms for our growth. Shaw says it's a 20-year bond issue that would pay for several upgrades, including renovating the old unused high school building, building a sports complex, and improvements to the baseball and softball fields. He says they need these updates to keep the school competitive with surrounding schools. Our programs will be behind. We don't have an ag room or an ag building. Uh, so they're in a classroom right now in the high school. Uh, it shortchanges those students. School board member Eric Watson graduated from Kiefer in 2003 with 25 other classmates. He says 70 to 80 kids will graduate this year. And Kiefer is growing that quick, um, and we're not stopping. Um, the growth of South Tulsa moving down here, that's going to bring in more students, that's going to bring in more to our district itself. He says this bond issue is important to make sure that Kiefer Public Schools can thrive. The, the fact that we are able to do this and have the opportunity to allow our school to grow means so much to me. The election is scheduled for April 5th, and Shaw says if the bond issue passes, they plan to start construction on the projects in August, and construction should last about two years. In Kiefer, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.